As we look at the market in the New York metro area today, we're seeing technologies changing and emissions regulations are changing. And Miller Procter Nicholas, being primarily a boiler company, we recognize right away that this is not sustainable for our future. There's major uh, regulations that have come out of the city, Local Law 97. If you're not continuously improving your carbon emissions from the building, you're going to be penalized by the state and by the city. Because of Local Law 154, which will ban the use of fossil fuel fired equipment in new building constructions, there is no other choice but to design a building that will run off 100% electricity. The New York City by 2050 wants to have a net zero carbon emissions. So this means that buildings need to somehow reduce their carbon footprint. The target is to limit the fossil fuels in it needs building. We conducted a research study to go out and look at different types of technology that were true differentiators. Liquid to liquid heat pump, you can capture that waste heat. It goes into the heat pump, it's compressed, and it comes out as high temperature heat. How are we gonna use this heat pump technology in the city of New York? Where are we gonna get the external heat that we need to make the heat pumps work? The answer to that is we're, we're able to tap into what Oilon has done over in Finland. In Finland, the temperatures dip way below zero, so up to this point we've had chillers and cooling towers, and then we have boilers for the heat needs. So we have, have two different systems for two different needs, and with the heat pumps, we can, we can put these two things together and it's a one unit in one place. Oilon is using whatever waste heat that they can get their hands on, whether it's waste heat at a water pollution control plant, salt water, they can actually take heat exchangers using salt water to create heat substantial enough to create hot water at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We can create a complete energy solution. One of the most important things to understand about heat pumps is the technology is so different. If you can have heat sources from a multitude of different locations. They can come from the wastewater of the building. Uh, if you've got any type of data center in the building, there's a kitchen in the building, you can pull the heat out of the kitchen. As a result, you can move all of that type of technology of the oil on chill heat product line into the basement of the building and use that to be able to heat the entire building. It's a great advantage. It lends well to the mission of Miller Procter Nicholas, which is to lead the marketplace with the most technologically advanced heating solutions available today.